Today, I'll introduce zombie idea number five. Leaders can be data-driven and empathic at the same time. Zombie ideas are the ideas that refuse to die, despite evidence to the contrary. In my previous videos, I've introduced zombie idea number one, leaders are saviors. Zombie idea number two, leaders are a special breed of people. Zombie idea number three, a team must have a leader and zombie idea number four, data don't lie. Zombie idea number five I'll introduce today is leaders can be data-driven and empathic at the same time. This idea persists despite the neuroscience evidence that the test positive network and the default mode network in the brain are antagonistic. While we are heavily focused on data-driven tasks, such as analyzing data, crunching numbers, and to make strategic decisions, our task-positive network in the brain is activated. The task-positive network in the brain is a network of regions that become more active when we are engaged in a wide variety of non-social tasks, including those that require focus attention, working memory, language, logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning, causal and mechanical reasoning, and being data-driven. The task positive network is also known as the executive control network or task focus network. The task positive network includes parts of the dorsal attention system, the frontal parietal control network, and the ventral attention network. Those networks are broadly associated with attention and execution of well-defined tasks that are non-social in nature. When we engage in analytical task, critical reasoning, we activate the task-positive network in our brain. However, when the task-positive network is in full gear, it actively suppresses the default mode network. This is the brain network that is associated with empathy, social cognition, and moral decision-making, basically everything that helps us build social bound and understand others in social settings. Let's talk about empathy. Empathy is our ability to understand and to share the feelings of others, which is critical for effective leadership. Empathy has three components. Cognitive empathy, meaning understanding someone else's perspective. We take other people's perspectives. For example, an administrator understands why an employee is stressed about a deadline. The second component of empathy is emotional empathy, which means sharing another person's emotions. For example, we feel pain when a friend is in pain. And the third component is compassionate empathy, also known as empathic concern. It means we take actions to help someone in need, like supporting a colleague who is overwhelmed. The two brain systems, the task positive network and the default mode network, work in opposite ways, meaning when one system is active, the other system is suppressed. Working on a complex task, our brain's task-positive network is highly active, helping us focus and engage in analytical, mathematical, and logical reasoning. However, this can temporarily reduce our ability to empathize and engage socially because the default network is suppressed. This is why we may appear cold-blooded and calculating when engaging in analytical tasks. On the other hand, when we engage in social tasks, like understanding others' beliefs or emotions, the default mode network is active. This means we're having a difficult time engaging cool-headed logical analysis. Effective leaders need to engage both brain networks. To ensure a group achieves its shared goals, we activate the task-positive network which helps us stay focused, analytical, and data-driven to complete tasks. On the other hand, relationship development emphasizes building strong, empathetic connections with your team, which engages the default mode network. The challenge is that we cannot activate both networks at the same time. 
This does not mean that being data-driven makes you immoral. It simply means that you cannot be fully data-driven and fully empathetic simultaneously because those functions are managed by different brain networks. And when one system is activated, the other system is suppressed. What does it mean for leadership? Just as some people have a natural disposition toward analytical or reasoning, we naturally lean more towards either task-focused or relationship-focused roles. Hormonal dispositions significantly influence our behavior and leadership styles. Hormones are chemicals in our body that affect how we think, feel, and behave. People with high need for achievement tend to have higher levels of a hormone called vasopressin. Vasopressin is a hormone that plays a critical role in regulating a wide range of bodily functions, including water retention and blood pressure. It also influences our social behavior and stress response. Higher levels of vasopressin are associated with increased focus, determination, and goal-oriented behavior. This means that people with higher vasopressin levels are more likely to excel in task-focused activities and exhibit strong leadership in achieving goals. In practical terms, a leader with high vasopressin levels may be particularly effective at setting and achieving ambitious goals, driving projects to completion, and maintaining a high level of productivity in their team. However, this task-focused approach can sometimes come at the expense of relational and empathetic aspects of leadership. We should be aware of our own natural predispositions towards task-oriented or relationship-oriented roles. We also need to align leaders' roles with their strength. In high-pressure situations requiring goal completion, task-focused leaders may excel, whereas in settings need high emotional intelligence, relationship-focused leaders are more beneficial. Effective leaders should also develop the ability to switch fluidly between task-oriented and relationship-oriented roles as needed. A rigid focus on one type of role can lead to mental exhaustion and burnout, negatively impacting long-term leadership effectiveness. Focus too much on being data-driven, we may miss out on the human aspects of leadership, such as understanding the team members and providing emotional support. After all, leadership is a social process. An excessive focus on data-driven can lead to a disengaged workforce and high turnover rates. But focusing too much on being empathetic can lead us astray from strategic direction and cause inefficiencies because decisions may be overly influenced by emotions, potentially compromising objective evaluation and performance outcomes. Therefore, a flexible switch between the two brain systems can balance both task-oriented and relationship-oriented leadership approaches.